My name is Svetomir Markovic. I am a hematologist, an oncologist, and an immunologist, and my job at Mayo is to cure malignant melanoma. I hate to lose. I do not like to lose to cancer. I have gone to too many funerals for my patients. My senior technician in the lab is the most senior Mayo technician. My nurse practitioner in our clinic is the most senior nurse practitioner at Mayo Clinic who writes her own clinical trials. My senior bioinformatics expert is, the Mayo's, is Mayo's most senior informatics expert and applied mathematician. My senior uh, systems engineering and applied mathematics expert is my NASA collaborator who, by the way, landed the Mars rover. Uh, my senior genomics colleague is the individual who leads the Translational Genomics Institute. And this is just a few. We're committed, we're dedicated, we're well-trained, we're capable, and we will cure this. The story most fresh in my mind is about a 16-year-old young lady <coughs> that came to us from a different institution uh, suffering from uh, massively and rapidly progressive melanoma in the brain. Uh, she was a pediatric patient that I was asked to see by my pediatric oncology colleagues. Uh, she was having trouble breathing, was seizing, and was progressively losing consciousness over a period of a week by the time we saw her. She had multiple sites of melanoma in the brain for which we had, at the day prior to her visit, identified a genetic target that we could treat. The drug was available in Europe and was only available to adults on experimental protocols. Uh, we had very short time to act, and we did. Uh, we needed to bring the drug from a foreign country and give it to an individual for which this drug has not been tested. We contacted the Food and Drug Administration and our institutional review board, asked for emergency approvals to use the drug in a pediatric patient, allow import of the drug from a foreign country, and lobbied the drug company to provide the drug free of charge. We were able to do that in 48 hours, which saved the life of this young lady, who after three months of therapy was back to high school. So this is something that we were very proud of. I think I can cure cancer every day. Why, why come to work if I didn't? <laughs>